Weekly concept. Wonders in the sky. Essential question. How do you explain what you see in the sky? The, the Light Show. For centuries, people have come up with stories to explain what they see in the night sky. This photo shows the Northern Lights, which you will soon read more about. The Inuit, who lived on the lower Yukon River, believed the Northern Lights were actually the spirits of animals dancing in the sky. If you had lived 500 years ago, how would you have explained the Northern Lights? What have you observed in the sky at night? Talk about it. Write words that name or describe things that appear in the night sky. Then talk to a partner about stars, planets, comets, and eclipses. Vocabulary Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Astronomer. The astronomer pointed out the crater on the planet. Crescent. The partial eclipse looks like a crescent and is shaped like a C. Phases During one of the moon's phases, the moon appears to be perfectly round. Phases. Phases are the different stages of the moon. Phases. Phases are the different stages of the moon. Rotates. The hamster turns and rotates his exercise wheel. Rotates. When something rotates, it turns around on an axis. Rotates. When something rotates, it turns around on an axis. Series. This series of photographs shows what happened after I watered the flower. Sliver. A thin sliver of light showed beneath the curtains. Specific. The boy held up a specific kind of orange that is used for making juice.
telescope. The boy looked through the telescope at the boats in the harbor. Genre Expository Text Wonders of the Night Sky Essential Question How do you explain what you see in the sky? Read about what causes some of the sights you see in the sky. As Earth rotates on its axis, day becomes night. Suddenly, a gallery of lights is revealed. You may see a beautiful crescent moon. Maybe you'll see one of the other phases of the moon. You may even see a series of lights spread across the sky like colored ribbons. For thousands of years, people have loved looking at the night sky. For almost as long, Scientists have been trying to explain what they see. Aurora Borealis Every few years, an amazing light show is seen in the skies near the North Pole. It is known as the Northern Lights, or the Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis Brilliant bands of green, yellow, Red and blue lights appear in the sky. People used to believe the lights were caused by sunlight reflecting off polar ice caps. The theory was that when the light bounced back from the caps, it created patterns in the sky. In fact, the lights happen because of magnetic attraction. The sun constantly gives off a stream of electrically charged particles in every direction. These nearly invisible pieces of matter join into a stream called a solar wind. As Earth orbits the Sun, solar winds reach Earth's magnetic field. As a result, electric charges occur that are sometimes strong enough to be seen from Earth. These electric charges cause the colorful bands of light in the sky. The Aurora Borealis above Hammerfest, Norway Comets. Another kind of light you might see move across the night sky is a comet. The word comet comes from a Greek word that means wearing long hair. It came from the Greek philosopher Aristotle, who thought that comets looked like stars with hair. Long ago, people feared these mysterious streaks because they believed that they might bring war or sickness to Earth. Today, comets are less scary and mysterious because we know that they are a mixture of rock, dust, ice, and frozen gases that orbit the sun. Comets move around the sun in an oval-shaped orbit. When a comet comes closer to the sun, the result is that a tail of gas and dust is pushed out behind the comet. This long tail is what people see from Earth. Scientists think comets are some of the oldest objects in space. They can track specific comets and predict when they can be seen from Earth again. Nucleus, coma, tail. This diagram shows the parts of a comet. Some comets' tails can be millions of miles long. Meteors. Have you ever looked up at the sky and seen a shooting star? Those streaks of light are not really stars at all. What we call shooting stars are usually meteors. Meteors are another name for the rocky debris and fragments that enter Earth's atmosphere. 
Sometimes Earth passes through an area in space with a lot of debris. This is when a meteor shower occurs. You may see hundreds of shooting stars on the night of a meteor shower. These days, an astronomer or anyone with a portable telescope can raise new questions about space. What do you see when you look up at the night sky? Whether you look at a sliver of the moon or a fantastic light show, you are bound to see something amazing, the Perseid meteor shower. Make connections. Talk about what causes some of the sights in the night sky. What do you wonder about when you look up at the night sky? Ask and answer questions. When you read an informational text, you usually come across new facts and ideas. Asking questions and reading to find the answer can help you understand new information. As you read Wonders of the Night Sky, ask and answer questions about the text. Find text evidence. When you first read Wonders of the Night Sky, you may have asked yourself what causes the northern lights. Aurora Borealis Every few years an amazing light show is seen in the skies near the North Pole. It is known as the Northern Lights, or the Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. Brilliant bands of green, yellow, red, and blue lights appear in the sky. People used to believe the lights were caused by sunlight reflecting off polar ice caps. The theory was that when the light bounced back from the caps, it created patterns in the sky. In fact, the lights happen because of magnetic attraction. The sun constantly gives off a stream of electrically charged particles in every direction. These nearly invisible pieces of matter join into a stream called a solar wind. When I read this section of the text, I found the answer to my question. The northern lights are caused by the sun giving off electrically charged particles. Your turn. Think of two questions you have about meteors. Reread the section Meteors on page 283 and answer your own questions. As you read, remember to use the strategy Ask and Answer Questions. Cause and Effect Text structure is the way that authors organize information in a selection. Cause and effect is one kind of text structure. A cause is why something happens. An effect is what happens. Find text evidence. When I reread the Aurora Borealis section on page 281 of Wonders of the Night Sky, I can look for causes and their effects. Signal words such as cause, because, and as a result tell me that a cause and effect relationship is being explained. Graphic Organizer Cause Effect Cause Sun gives off electrically charged particles. Effect Particles join into a solar wind. Cause, solar winds reach Earth's magnetic fields. Effect, as a result, electric charges are seen from Earth. Your turn. Reread page 282 of Wonders of the Night Sky. What happens when a comet moves closer to the Sun? Use the graphic organizer to list the cause and effect. Expository Text Wonders of the Night Sky is an expository text. Expository text explains facts and information about a topic. Includes text features. Find text evidence. I know Wonders of the Night Sky is an expository text 
because it gives many facts about the night sky and includes text features. It has boldface words, pronunciations of unfamiliar words, and a diagram. Text features Diagrams Diagrams show the parts of something. Boldface words Boldface words show keywords in the text. Pronunciations Pronunciations show how to sound out unfamiliar words. Your turn. Find two text features in Wonders of the Night Sky. Tell what you learned from each feature. Context Clues As you read the information in Wonders of the Night Sky, you may come across words that you don't know. To figure out the meaning of an unfamiliar word, check the words or phrases near it carefully for clues. Find text evidence. When I read the third paragraph on page 281 of Wonders of the Night Sky, the phrase, light bounced back, helps me figure out what reflecting means. People used to believe the lights were caused by sunlight reflecting off polar ice caps. The theory was that when the light bounced back from the caps, it created patterns in the sky. Your turn. Use context clues to find the meaning of the following words in Wonders of the Night Sky. Write a short definition and example sentence for each word. Particles, page 281. Mixture, page 282. Debris, page 283. Write about the text. I answered the question, how does the author help us understand what causes the aurora borealis? Use text evidence. The author uses cause and effect to help readers understand what causes the aurora borealis. The aurora borealis is like fireworks in the night sky. The author explains that this event happens because of magnetic attraction. When solar winds reach Earth's magnetic field, they cause electric charges. The result of these strong charges is the colorful bands of light we sometimes see in our northern sky. The author's use of cause and effect makes it clear how this amazing event occurs. Figurative language A fireworks simile helps the reader visualize the aurora borealis. Precise language. I used domain-specific vocabulary such as magnetic attraction. Concrete details. I explained an event in an informational text using facts and figures. Grammar. Our is a possessive pronoun. Your turn. Compare and contrast comets and meteors. Use text evidence. 